Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll see how to generate QR codes in JavaScript using QR code JS library. This is the GitHub page of the library. What we need to do is first download the JS file, which is this one right here, QR code JS, which is the minified version, or um, QR code JS. We will implement a quick demo of the library by adding an input field and generating the QR code for that field's value. And right here, you can see that you can assign different uh, options for the generated QR code. We're not going to cover it in this tutorial, but you can check it yourself. Okay, so let's move to our HTML file. So what I'm going to type here is HTML and then head and then title QR code generator tutorial. Okay, and then the body right here, I'm going to add h1 tag QR code generator tutorial and then we're going to add a div that's going to hold the label text and then the input field input name is equal to QR code and the type is equal to text and then let's add a break line break right here and then add a new dev and inside the dev we're going to create a div of id qr code which is going to actually hold our generated qr code okay the next step to do is um, including or importing the library into our html page so right in the head tag Below this title right here, I'm going to type script source. It's going to be equal to QR code.man.js. Since um, I'm having this file downloaded into my workspace right here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually create a function that's going to take a value or a text as an argument and generate the QR code and store it into our div of ID QR code right here. So I'm going to type a script tag and inside this script tag, we're going to first declare a variable that is going to hold the QR code object. So var QR code is going to be equal to undefined for now. Okay, so let's now create the generate QR code function. So function generate QR code, which is going to take a value, right? So first of all, we need to check the QR code variable. So if it's undefined, then this means that we're going to create a new QR code object, right? Else, if we have a QR code object, then what we're going to do is clear this QR code and generate a new QR code. So if QR code is triple equal to undefined, then this means that we're going to create a new QR code object. So QR code is going to be equal to new QR code. And we're going to give it the element of our QR code, which is obviously this div right here. So document dot get element by ID, and we're going to give it the QR code. And then the second argument is going to be our value. All right. Else, if we already have a QR code object, then what we're going to do is actually clear this QR code. So QR code dot clear, and then make a new QR code. So QR code dot make code, and then we're going to give it the value. Okay, so now we're done with our um, generate QR code method. Let's now move to the input field right here and add an onChange attribute to call this generate QR code method. So onChange, it's going to be equal to generate QR code, 
and then we're going to give it the value. So this dot value. Okay, so that's it. Let's now test it out. So I'm going to type in here Google dash Chrome, and then the QR code generator tutorial HTML. Okay, so let's now generate the QR code for Basil Tech 123. Let's go back and here we go. This is the generated barcode. And if we change this barcode for Basil Tech, for example, so it clears the existing barcode and then makes a new, um, I mean, it clears the QR code and makes a new QR code. Okay, so that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one.